What's up you guys? It's Adana and I am back with another video. This is actually one of you guys' requests. AbsTube asked me last week if I could do a video about my pre-PA journey. So I was like, absolutely I can. So that's what this video is going to be about. If you have any questions or comments after watching this video, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already done so and check out my GoFundMe page. So before getting into PA school, I thought that I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to be a physician. And so I said, hey, I'm going to go ahead and major in biology. And then I switched it to biomedical sciences. I took my MCAT. I got into two medical schools. And then I got married, had some babies and realized, mm, I didn't really want to do medicine. I wanted more flexibility in my career. I wanted to be able to spend a little bit more time with my family than I thought medicine would afford me. So I looked into other degrees. I looked into APN degrees, advanced practice nurses degrees, and then I realized that I didn't want to go back to school for another two years before I could actually start my master's program. So I looked some more, did some more research, and found the PA profession. And I was like, oh, so excited, ready to do it. So I was like, you know, what do I need to do? Took my GRE and then I applied to schools. That was like the biggest mistake I could have ever done. I really didn't do that great of a job researching what my GPA needed to be, what my science GPA needed to be, anything like that. I got in to zero schools that first year. I real it was really bad actually. It was not a good option. I wasted a lot of money and then that's when I kind of got a little bit more serious and, and I did more research. So I found out that my GPA wasn't the requirement that I needed it to be. I thought that it was a three point at least a three point oh. I think it was supposed to be it was like I thought it, when I calculated it it was like a three point two or a 3.1 but when CASPA calculates it they take into consideration your physics grade and my school we did physics as a math degree so I didn't really think that physics was going to be part of my science GPA but it was and it brought my GPA down tremendously because I did horribly in physics you suck I think I got like a B minus which is practically a C so <laughs> really bad um so i had to go ahead and retake physics i also needed to take over some of my other courses that were getting old because like i said i originally wanted to do medicine and i was pursuing that and then um i didn't want to do it anymore and i decided on pa so my classes were getting old so i actually have a list of the courses that i retook or took because i wanted to boost my gpa so i had to retake micro biochemistry organic one i took anatomy and physiology one and two because i took gross anatomy um and just a physiology class in college um, I had to retake statistics because I took that in high school, so it was super old. And then I took sociology because I only needed to take psychology for my degree. And I also took developmental psychology. So um, I know some schools require developmental or abnormal, but I chose developmental and um, I loved it. So uh, actually, no, I did both. I did developmental and abnormal. And I really, really liked abnormal psych. So those were the courses that I retook or took over. I got all A's in all of those classes. So I felt I really pushed myself hard to make sure that I got all A's to show, hey, I'm serious. Um, I have a 4.0, even though it may not necessarily be reflected in my science GPA, how high I can, I guess, perform. I wanted to show this is like what I'm doing now. So kind of like post back what I'm doing. And I got all A's in those classes, which glory to God, because that's the only way that I could do that. I did a lot of shadowing. I had over 500 hours of shadowing, and I had over 500 hours just as a home health aide. I also got my CNA, and I also worked at an urgent care um, as a patient service representative, which was basically like a scribe. I was just taking intake information, their chief complaint and all of that. And that got me some more patient contact hours as well. So all in all, I had over 2,500 patient contact hours, over 500 shadowing hours. And I retook all of those courses. I got a 4.0 in all of those courses that I retook. So my... Science GPA was not high. It was a 3.3 science GPA. Um, my overall GPA was bumped up to a 3.53, like, 
I believe is what it is. So it was okay, it was decent, but it definitely wasn't as good as some of some other people's GPAs. And I know when they say, oh, you know, they want a minimum of 3.0, yes, they want the minimum. That's like the minimum that you can actually get to apply, but they really aren't looking for the minimum. They're looking for higher than that minimum because they want people who come into their program to just bolster their program's reputation. Um, but that's really what I did. I really worked hard, grinded it out. There was um, a summer that I took three, four courses in one month just to get it out and get be able to um, apply to schools, and I did it. And you can do it, anybody can do it. So I just suggest you really, really like, I keep saying this, you guys, do your research. I wasted a lot of money not doing my research. So do your research, make sure you know exactly what the schools that you're trying to apply to want. If you have like anything lower than a B in organic or biochemistry or micro, I highly suggest you just retake those courses and try to get A's in them because I know schools look very, very highly upon those courses. Those or your upper level science courses and they're expected to be hard so if you can perform well in those classes they definitely look really good at those you know they look hard at that as opposed to like your social sciences per se work hard on those courses make sure you get them done and you're setting yourself up to get into VA school I promise you if you do that you're definitely on your way all right so that was my pre PA journey you know, from med school to not med, trying to go to med school to becoming a PA student. So excited and soon to be a PAC. If you have any more questions for me, leave it in the comment section below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe and hit up my GoFundMe page. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.